Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Janosch. I'm a concept artist working in games and I currently take the Brainstorm School online class. And if you missed week 3, make sure to click here. There will be a Q&A session at the end of this video and if you have a question, make sure to type it in the comments below. Good morning lovely people, or actually good lunchtime. It is Monday 12 o'clock, a new week begins, week 4 started. I need to say I'm really tired because I attended character design this morning at 3 a.m. And after the class I decided that I'm gonna hit the bed again and I slept for a couple more hours but totally I only slept 4 hours last night. And that's also the reason why I'm not into so much talking right now. But I want to give you guys an update on what happened on the weekends. So basically on Saturday evening I had phone language class with Norris. It was a pretty good class. Um, also my feedback was pretty good. The same goes for the character design class this morning. My feedback was also pretty good. Who was pretty happy with the line art we delivered and also with the rendering. There wasn't much to feedback on on my rendering. Even though it was a rough painting, um, still he did not have so much to feedback on it, um, which is a good sign. And besides that, I have the new assignments for this week, but I will not break them down now because it would take some extra time to explain them maybe tomorrow because today I will not work on any of those assignments because I couldn't finish the editing for the vlog last week. I'm still at editing Thursday, so there's still Friday and Saturday to do, which I hopefully get done today. That's the priority for today, so I will finish the editing and I will go to bed very early today because I really need some sleep to be ready to perform this week. But we are at week four. How exciting is that? Um, that we're already at week four. So next week is already halftime. Thinking about how much we hustled and how much we worked through the last couple of weeks. It's really amazing. And I feel like I already can see a little bit the finish line. I mean, pretty far away, but I know there is the finish line. Um, which gives me more energy and more positive vibes. Anyways, I hope you guys are all doing great and maybe I give you guys another update later on but it really depends on my mood and how awake I am, how fast I'm done with all the YouTube editing. I wish you guys an awesome Monday and see you in the next update. A few moments later. So it is 8 o'clock in the evening, I finished work, I got everything done. I'm now on editing the footage as I thought I will only edit the footage tonight because it takes really a lot of time, I'm still at editing Thursday from last week, so it's still gonna take me at least two to three hours maybe and then Rewatching it like the video goes an hour So if you rewatch it, it already takes an hour and goes back and forth back and forth I think it will be I will be done at midnight so I can upload it overnight and then it will be there for you guys tomorrow Besides that I feel pretty good. I only slept a couple hours today, but weirdly I'm such in a good I'm such in a good work mood at somebody you get really used to to not sleep so much and also the most downtime of sleep for me is only from Sunday to Monday so the other weeks I get my normal sleep habit in um, which is good and necessary also anyways I don't want to waste so, so much time today because I don't have any time to spend so I will now jump back on editing and we will see each other tomorrow and tomorrow I will tell you everything about the new assignments it's gonna be really cool and we will also start with the first assignment tomorrow morning so see you guys soon Hello wonderful people, it is Tuesday and it's already lunchtime. I didn't finish the editing yesterday evening so I had to continue the edit of the YouTube vlog. I finished it this morning, rewatched it this morning, it's already uploading, it will be, it will be up at 6pm tonight and I'm happy that I'm done with that. I also haven't started with any assignments and I also haven't explained you guys what will be the plan for this week. So I just finished my lunch, I will now jump back on work, finish work until 6 and then I will come back with another update and I explain you guys what is the plan for this week, what's about the character design project. Then we're gonna start with the assignments and at 8 I will definitely go to the gym tonight because I promised myself I will drop everything at 8 and go to the gym because I haven't been to the gym for a week now, I haven't done any sport and I really need to get rid of the stress and I really need to compensate the stress a little bit. So that's the plan for the day. Keep you guys updated, time is running, it's already Tuesday, we haven't started with the assignments but I'm in a really good mood, I had a lot of sleep and I will now go back to work and give you guys another update later. A few moments later. Finished work, it's almost 6 and now I want to tell you guys 
what we actually gonna do this week. So at first I wanna start with the assignment for form language. The form language homework is separated in three parts. So this week we have to choose some architecture for our study. So we have to take a specific style of buildings or some sort of architecture and create one ref board, one mood board with inspirations and we have to do one page of studies. That's the first part of the assignment. Again, for the second part, we have to choose a man-made form language. From the chosen form language, we have to again create a page of functional keywords, which we will then use for the application of design for this type of form language. So we basically take the architecture and apply all the form language and all the functional keywords from our man-made form language to the architecture. That's the combination of part one and part two. Part three is basically the same as part two. This time we take nature form language, same as last week. So it could be bark of tree, could be any type of nature-based form language. Can be a plant, can be a mushroom, whatever it is, but we have to choose it, we have to analyze it, study it, and then use it for our form language. But here we have the choice if we take a functional keyword or if we take aesthetic keywords. And again, here we have to do three pages of studies. So for this week, it is pretty clear and the volume is not so much, the quantity is not so much, so we can focus more on quality. So now we come to the character design assignment. So as mentioned before, so the project part of the course had started. It turned out that we will create characters for a game or film remake. So Gu gave us four different titles and we have to choose one of those titles. And so we have the story, we have the archetypes and we have the characters from the story. We now need to give this our own type of spin. So we create a remake which should be interesting and should be differently but still match the title. But we not only create a different title, we also gonna cater it to a certain studio. So Google gave us also different options on different studios we can take. Could be for Naughty Dog, could be for Marvel, could be for could be for Santa Monica Studios, could be for DC, Riot Games, Blizzard. The list goes on and on. He gave us a big list of different studios. We basically create a pitch for a studio, which is a really cool exercise and it's also very industry standard. So what I will do now for the next two hours is basically we'll start to gather reference and writing things down, creating some PSDs and I will do the same for the form language assignment. So I will take my architecture and decide, okay, which direction I want to go, which could be interesting, which I can combine later on. I will do this for the next two hours and then I go to the gym, have a good gym session and then I call it a day so I get early in bed so I'm, so I'm fresh and ready tomorrow. That's the plan for today. I will not record the reference gathering because it's actually boring and not so interesting to see. But now I will start working on all my ideas and I give you guys another update tomorrow. So see you guys tomorrow. Good morning guys, it is Wednesday morning. Um, I actually don't know what time it is right now. But I just got up, um, got in my breakfast, so I now have some time to work on the assignments. And yesterday evening I went to the gym as planned, which was a really good session because I really, I really killed myself in the gym yesterday. I was there like two and a half hours. I did some heavy weight, heavy weights for two hours and then I did 30 minutes of cardio and I really walked home like a zombie. I was just so hungry and starving and tired so I was I was focused to get home and just get in food take a shower and then go to sleep and I slept so deeply this night but the weather is really not helping this morning it is super rainy super gray in Berlin it really does not help to now go in front of the PC and my brain and my head is not really starting you know I caught myself procrastinating like going through my phone and watching videos and stuff and um, I think my brain just want to tell me do take a break and right now I will just start with thinking about what type of architecture or what type of building I want to use for the form language design but also I still have no real idea or clue what I want to do so I think I would just look up some images and gather some references and then I will start also with the ideation process for the character design class which means I have to think about what title I want to choose which studio I want to cater it for and also interesting spin I could give it and I had some thoughts yesterday while I'm going to the gym which will be like maybe doing some sort of nice setting in the 1800s maybe in London or something which is a little bit like Jack the Ripper type because usually when I approach those type of things I would think about okay what do I want to do what type of setting do I want to work on what is cool for me you know not what is cool for the outside what is cool for me but the thing is it always ends up be thinking okay um, I want to do 1800s London 
is there something like 1800s London concept already? And of course there are because there is never something like a new wheel, you know, so you it's it's always the trap of trying to reinvent the wheel, but this is basically impossible. And my goal here will be basically to come up with a cool idea. Maybe there was a similar idea before already. I will just try to figure something out I really want to work on because if I really like the setting and I really enjoy the setting and the time zone and everything then usually the work will be a little bit better. Besides that I'm just a little bit tired and brain slow but other than that I'm pretty good in the mood. I'm, I'm happy, I'm still happy, very positive. I'm actually always very positive and I just, I just try to get the ball rolling again. My goal really with this 10 weeks are not to show how good I am or um, how good my progress is or how good I become after 10 weeks or how awesome Brainstorm is. No, I want to create some sort of evergreen content which will be visible even in 4 or 5 years for people who are 18, 20, 30 and found concept art or concept design as a career opportunity and then I want them to watch those videos and I want them to understand what it really means to to really sit down, do the work and really get everything done. It's also the most valuable thing I can create content wise, you know. For me the most important thing is that those videos or this video series is somehow inspirational and brings people to start to decide, okay, I really want to do that. I know what it takes from me and what I have to bring to the table. Anyways, I don't want to spend too much time talking around here. I need to start with work, so I will go back to my desk and I give you guys another update later. So see you guys later.
So it is half past six now. I finished work. I need to say today was really a hard day in terms of thinking and getting my brain ready to do some thinking work. Um, don't ask me how work went. No, no, I'm kidding. Uh, work was actually pretty good, but I didn't get anything really done this morning in terms of homework and assignments because at the moment I have to do a lot of ideation and figuring things out like what direction I want to go for both classes for form language and character design. So I started to look at some reference and I I knew I want to start with form language because I have to deliver sketches and stuff so that's actually more important right now and all the character thing and the character design assignment I can do later. So I really it really took me quite some time to figure things out. First of all, I needed to I needed to figure out what I actually want to do in terms of architecture, in terms of building, what direction, what time period, what could be cool, what would I love to work on? What would I like to do? And I was basically just gathering a lot of reference. Let me open it up. So I was actually starting with just gathering different types of references. Just everything I liked. From Greek Asian buildings to African huts to Norse historical um, architecture to to Balinesian architecture really broad really across the map the Bali stuff for example um, me and my girlfriend we went to Bali two years ago I think for a whole month and we would visit some temple areas which was really awesome I still have a lot of reference photos from that and I always wanted to use them but I wasn't sure what to do with it to be honest so I thought okay maybe I do some sort of temple structures or some sort of like temple entries because I thought it would be cool it would be cool and also a temple has a specific use like praying the gods and um, use usually like temple buildings built vertically so people are closer to God and worshiping and all that stuff and um, so I thought it would be cool to go for some sort of like temple um, that was my first clue basically but then I had to figure out okay in what type of setting or where do I want to fit that. It really really took me quite some time. I, I was sitting here for at least one and a half hours just looking at things and then I was just like gathered all my inspirational references like um, images of weird plants and mushrooms and corals and like really weird interesting looking shapes just to get my brain a little bit of thinking you know at some point i came across of celtic artifact and then i was like looking at those artifacts and i really like those celtic artifacts so a huge skyrim fan and uh, i'm a huge god of war fan so i was just like gathering like celtic artifacts and roman artifacts maybe i should do some sort of temple which fits into a certain universe and i was like maybe skyrim maybe god of war and i thought wait a minute norris is working at Cinema. Monica Studios so maybe I really go for a God of War type of temple just to see what uh, type of feedback he gives me because that would be actually a good test to see or if the approach I try to do would make sense and also maybe would work thought okay maybe it's a good idea maybe it's not a good idea so I was doing research okay and thinking okay if I would do a God of War temple what type of temple would I would do and then I was looking at Norse mythology and then I was like okay so in the first game they basically went to the land of giants right and all the giants were dead okay maybe it would would be cool if we gonna do some sort of to have some sort of temple which has a connection with some of the gods shown in the previous god of war actually thinking about which type of god would make sense so there is basically a list on wikipedia i just went through the list and there are like gods like um loki rindir sodgor uh, sekoi there was one i found pretty interesting which was uh, Jorn Saxa. On the wiki page they were saying Jorn Saxa is actually the mother of Magni. Magni was appearing in the first God of War. So I would thought okay it would be interesting if there's some sort of connection or maybe there would be an interaction of Kratos with Jorn Saxa. The thing is like I don't have too much time to think so much of a backstory but I thought okay that would be enough for a backstory like okay there is a temple it's the temple of Jorn Saxa and Kratos for any type of reason needs to go into that temple or needs to go through the temple or what else it is. And then I was googling Yarn Saxa and I was reading a lot and um, there was some also some interesting points. So for example she's actually a lesser known character in the Norse mythology but she has a very interesting backstory. All those informations are credited from one specific article I found and I'm not 100% sure if it's really historically 100% correct, I just hope it is. I was trying to find some interesting 
keywords I can use for the design for the temple or the temple entry because um, we have to do I think three pages of design um, I have those cool images from the Balinesian temples I showed in my vacation so I thought maybe I have a cool combination of those temple designs some sort of Celtic artifact which could resemble or which could be the the temple of Jornsaxa but now I have to find some keywords where which I can implement to really sell that it is her temple so um, I was reading this article here so the article is actually pretty interesting so Jornsaxa she's a creature who comes up in important ways in North mythology but much is left out we know a little bit about her her name is a portmonnaie of Swedish words for iron axe and scissors. In the poetic Edda, considering the oldest text of the North culture, we learn that she is one of the nine mothers of Heimdall. Also interesting. These wave maidens were responsible for turning the mill which runs the wind and the waves. After Heimdall leaves his mother to seek his fortune, Jorn Saxa disappears from the Edas for, for a while. So we have already interesting facts here. So we have, we have iron, axe, scissors. Also is interesting is the turning the mill which runs the wind and the waves. I think we need to leave that out because that is a little bit more of a bigger thing. I mean we could maybe think about if it's an entrance it could have some sort of turning mechanism or which uses the wind to open or maybe that we just we just write that down. I think that's it for now. So what we will use is scissors, axe, iron and windmill or the function of the windmill. Um, okay, I will write that down and I will now jump into more reference images gathering and I try to um, sort things out and then I think we can already start to work on it. And and actually this week or in last week presentation of form language, um, Norris introduced photo bashing or kit bashing, which means using different photos to overlay them and then putting a layer on top with white and then basically tracing the kit bash to save a lot of time. And that's also a very valuable technique in production because if you're really low on time, all the study part we did before, like taking the time for doing studies of form language, for example, um, in production you don't have so much time. So when you really don't time, you mostly use photos and that's why photos are really good. What we will do this week, we are actually gonna use photos and kit bash them and then trace over them to just save time and then refine the design a little bit. I'm really interested to see what I will come up with because I hope this part now was interesting for you guys and I just wanted to let you know that researching and thinking and ideation is a very big part of the job. Like doing concept job is a very, you need a lot of brain power basically for that job. It's not only drawing and painting, no, you also need to know what you draw and what you paint. Of course, usually some sort of art direction but you still have to come up with a design or you can have to come up with an idea. And for that, it's good for you if you practice that already. So if you really, so if you want to build a portfolio with, with interesting designs or interesting backstories, definitely try to do some research, read some stuff, get some keywords out, write it down and then really try to think and process everything. And you will definitely come up with something. I really want to jump on that assignment because now I'm, my brain has already started to making things in my head. I already have ideas. Of course, I will record all the drawing process for you guys. So stay tuned.
So now I just started to make a sheet with all the things I just found out and all the things which are going through my mind. And in fact that Kratos is killing Magni in God of War 4, so in the last God of War, um, and Jordan Saxa is the mother of Magni. I think it would be a good interlocking story. Only thing which I'm not 100% sure would I, what I would do is about the temple. If it's a temple for John Saxa or if it is actually a temple for the nine mothers of Heimdall, um, which John Saxa is a part of. I, I'm not sure if it would make sense to give John Saxa a whole temple or maybe it is a temple which is made out of nine parts. And the part we are entering is the part of John Saxa. That could be possible. Because I really like the fact of um, that these nine mothers are the other wave mates who are responsible for turning the mill which runs wind and waves. What is actually the most interesting part about the running of waves, which means we have some sort of interaction with water. Um, I just want to read out the things to you which I wrote down here. First of all, it's a temple. What is the function of the temple? Worship, closer to gods, respect, passage and sacrifice. That's the thing I wrote down. Then the notes I wrote down for Jaren Saxa, the meaning of the name Jaren Saxa. Jaren, Yak and Saxa, um, which mean iron, axe and scissors. Turning for the function of the mill. Nine for nine mothers. Waves, wind. And then I wrote also down corals, algae and water temple. Question if it's a water temple or some sort of temple with interact with water, corals and agea would make sense. And also corals have a really nice structure we can add design-wise. General notes I wrote down like vertical build more common for temples. Um, the culture is Norris, worship to Jordan Saxa, all the nine mothers question mark. Location underwater or maybe underground, maybe inside of a mountain or on top of a mountain because of flowing and wind, wind create waves. I'm not sure, just I just brainstorm here. Then upside down question mark or the temple is maybe horizontal and needs to become vertical so it create winds or it can uses the wind to create waves eventually turning or wind water mechanism so kratos can move on so these are the things i wrote down what i will do next is taking all the images from the images i just gathered before to find everything which is visually interesting and could work for my brainstorm but before that i need to buy some groceries <laughs> so i will actually go to buy some groceries now um, but after that when i come back i will start to kit bash or photo bash some ideas and start to draw and i'm actually pretty excited because i think it's gonna be pretty cool i think we're off to a good start i will definitely keep on that first i'm gonna hit the groceries and then i will start designing already today so i keep you guys updated
Good morning guys, it is Thursday 7 a.m. and I only have one more hour until I need to start working. So I try to finish the studies I started yesterday evening. I also will try to jump on the design assignment. I'm very busy today because I need to be done with uh, work a bit earlier today. So I basically will not do any assignments today after work so i need to get a little bit thing done now and maybe s some stuff in my lunch break but after work i will drive to my family and i think i will not be back before midnight which means i will not have any time to finish or continue the assignment after work tonight that's why i'm very busy today and also we need to we need to really get the ball rolling because we only have friday left then and i don't want to have the same kind of situation i had last week with all the cutting on sunday and stuff you know so I really want to have Saturday free for just doing intro filming, outro filming and editing. So I really have Sunday off. And I think it's possible because we only have to deliver sketches for form language, for character design. We all only have to deliver our pitch which is made out of uh, reference images and, and some notes and ideas but that should be absolutely doable so I will cut all the talking now I will directly go to work because I really don't want to waste any more time I wish you guys an awesome Thursday I hope you guys are also productive otherwise I give you guys another update maybe later so see you guys later a few moments later I just finished work I'm done with my day job work still have some time before I go to my family so I will now jump on doing a little bit of work for the assignments I finished the studies and now I will jump on a design assignment for form language and I will not take the camera with me to my family because today is really like family time, you know, and I want to focus on that, not on filming or anything. Besides everything, I'm pretty good in the mood. Um, everything went well so far. I spent my time really productive, had no downtimes or anything. Everything went pretty well today. What I will do, I actually gonna take my sketchbook with me now um, to write down my ideas for the character design assignment because I really have to do a little bit of thinking and I drive like 45 minutes to my parents which is a good time to just taking the sketchbook with you and usually doing sketches but this time writing things down writing ideas down this is also a habit I created for myself which I can absolutely recommend to any creative person or any person who try to be productive having some sort of notebook or sketchbook where you not only do sketches but also write ideas down or thoughts or planning if you have the ideas in your head and you write them down they manifest and then you keep them so i will now go back to my desk continue the, the assignment for form language and then go to my family and i think the next update will come in tomorrow as i said i will now jump back on the assignment and the next update comes tomorrow
Good morning fellas, it is Friday, it is actually not morning anymore, it is lunchtime and I'm off to go to lunch. This morning I decided to spend time on research because I have to research a lot for the character design assignment. As I mentioned before we're now on to the project, um, which means we have to make remakes of four given titles. All those games are pretty old and they already had some remakes and stuff and I want to look at the remakes and I really want to read all the plots and all the story and everything to really get a feel for all the titles which is a really cool thing to do and it's also a very good exercise but also takes really a lot of time and that's something which I would never un underestimate because that's something we already did in college not on games not on remaking games but anytime you redesign something or you do a product you do a lot of research so research is really a big thing um, i'm talking very fast also because i'm really really low on time today again because i need to continue with that i will not finish the character design assignment today because i really want to spend all my time until the last minute to really come up with a cool thing and at the end i only have to provide reference images so that's something which i can execute very fast so all the pre-work takes the most time and the execu executional phase for this homework is very short. We still have to do a lot of work and it's Friday and as mentioned uh, tomorrow I actually just want to spend time editing which means should be done with all the form language assignments today. Not really sure if that's what gonna happen but um, I just give everything as always. Um, yeah so see you guys later. A few moments later. So I'm done with work. It is half past six now. I will continue with the form language assignment now, but before that I want to tell you the four titles we can choose or we have to choose for the character design assignment. Um, this morning I did some research on all the titles because I never played those titles. There is actually a lot of information about those titles and there are also a lot of remakes, a lot of characters, so it's really a lot of stuff to read. And I'm still trying to figure out which title I should choose and what type of remake I should do but before I do that I just want to give you guys which are the titles and what are they about maybe you know them already maybe maybe you have played them I haven't played them so the first one is Metal Gear Solid from 1998 it's basically an action adventure stealth game it was made by Square Enix and it plays in the US in 2005 that's the first one I don't want to talk so much about the characters I just wrote some possible characters down which are Snake the hero, and the big boss who's the villain, and Naomi Hunter who could be a healer or sidekick. And for the assignment we have to take at least three characters and we need to have to take obviously the hero and we have to take the villain. But what's also important about this whole exercise is that we not only have to give it our own spin, but we have to maintain the main story and the main characters. It's a very important part of the whole assignment to keep the main characters and also to keep the main story. The next game is called Parasite Eve. The setting plays in New York 1997. It's actually a horror action role-playing game. It's actually a very interesting game and I watched a video about all the different titles which came after and it feels like it got worse and worse. I mean that was the my perception from what they said in that video. Also I'm very careful with what they're saying because um, it's an opinion from someone else and I haven't played ever the games. The next one is actually one title I knew um, which is the original version of Castlevania. You maybe remember it from the Netflix series Castlevania based on the same thing and Castlevania um, is and was actually an action adventure gothic horror video game series um, about vampire hunters to say it very simply. It plays in southern Europe in the middle ages. So it's more of a fantasy setting, which is pretty cool. I really like the setting in itself. I'm a big fan of all the fun housing, Frankenstein, all that type of genre, which is pretty cool. But I'm actually not sure if I really can add some interesting spin to that. Because the thing is, I really like the setting. I like the time. I like the Southern Europe, Middle Ages. And I personally don't want to change it too much, you know. I wouldn't like to change that. I really like the setting as it is. So I'm actually not sure if that's a good title for me to choose. And last but not least is Jinru. Jin, it's called Jinrui. It's called Jinru Musashi. It's a, it's a game from 1992. It's a side-scrolling hack and hack and slash action performer, and it's actually an arcade game. And I watched some videos, and it looked really cool. And I really wanted to play it. I would be interested if some of you actually played every one of those games and how you guys experienced those. So the game plays in 1612 Japan. The interesting part about it is that um, it reminded me a little bit about the manga Vagabond. Vagabond is based on a novel called Musashi by Yoshikawa and Musashi 
was actually a real person. The guy was living in 1584 in the year of the monkey and it was he was a samurai he was known for his fights and he actually started fighting in a really um, early age his first fight was when he was 13 years old um just as a side note and what i will do next is basically writing down everything which i associate everything which comes to my mind and then i try to read up on that more and more and write stuff down and until Monday morning, I have to get everything on paper or in the PSD, which is basically gathering all my um, images and I have to decide which title I do. And before that, I really need to think about, okay, what type of genre is it? Do I stay in the genre? Do I go out of the genre? Do I stay in a setting? Do I change the setting? Do I take um, the setting? And maybe one of my ideas was basically taking the uh, Musashi title and put it in today's area, make him basically to fight Yakuza's, you know? Um, but then is the next question, do I make a game out of it? Do I make a movie out of it? Who could be the director or who could be, who, which studio could be interested in that? This whole process is really a long thinking and ideating process that's why i also want to give me more time for this so i'm going to get another coffee now and then we'll start working keep you guys updated bye bye i'm staring through your window looking up at the stars up at the stars I'm caught inside a loop where I can get to your heart, get to your heart So I'm still working, still developing the first idea for the Temple of Joran Saxa or the Temple of the Nine Mothers, I don't know. But basically the base idea um, for the first temple entrance is that Kratos and Atreus come to the temple. Obviously they see that um, there is some sort of visual mechanic and there is some water flowing um, from above. They basically need to solve the puzzle and they're basically two very simple puzzles um, because I don't want to make it too complicated here for myself. I thought okay maybe it's a very simple idea so maybe um, on the right side the wheel is basically just blocked uh, and it's blocked by, by something, um, I don't know, some plywood or corals or anything 
and Kratos has to 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 throw his axe or um, Atreus has to shoot it on the on the right side it is flowing correctly and they see okay they, they unblocked it and it is working and now they have to find a way to the water flow correctly on the left side he has to create some sort of rhythm for the water to flow correctly i thought that could be a combination of him throwing his axe and atreus shooting some of the special arrows he has i remember kratos had this um freezing thing with with his axe which could be a good thing for water right every time i do things too complicated or I want to I want to do too much and then I basically mess up the exercises you know maybe not I'm, I really have no idea maybe it's a good idea if I send Norris a whip or something um, just to check back maybe that's a good idea I will think about that anyways I'll continue to work on it it's half past 10 now um, I actually want to be done with this assignment by midnight but again it's absolutely impossible to finish this assignment at midnight so i try my best to do that um i keep you guys updated and yeah maybe see you guys later or tomorrow so bye bye Hey guys, it is Saturday lunchtime already and uh, I'm so exhausted guys. I basically worked until 2 a.m. last night. Didn't finish anything because nothing went well. It really frustrated me. I really went to bed with a very bad feeling, you know, of not getting the homework done again fully. Um, I mean, I did a lot of stuff but I still 
have to do the design assignments which are actually the most important thing and I'm still thinking about the character design assignment and I'm like okay maybe do not think about it you know um, if you do too many things at the same time you do nothing right and that's, that's completely my thinking at the moment because I don't want to mess it up um, I have no problem with failing in a task but not getting things done is something which is not cool. I sent Norris a message yesterday and I asked about the design assignment and about my overthinking and stuff and he basically replied the puzzle mechanism and everything is cool and the direction is cool that I just should incorporate more of the functionality of a windmill and should incorporate more design function stuff but at the end it came out that like the things I wanted to do in this week for this one assignment were too ambitious were just basically too ambitious now it is lunchtime I decided for to change the schedule so I will not film the intro and outro today as I usually do it on Saturday. So I will do that tomorrow. Anyways, so I decided now for the assignment after talking to Norris that I will stop with the God of War uh, temple thing. I will not continue with that because it requires more time of thinking and ideation. There, I will not have some proper design. So I had some different ideas before and I will just put the more simple ideas which are basically um, coral huts. As you maybe see, I'm a little bit disappointed in myself that I was too ambitious again and that I had all the ideas and stuff but I think that's really the smartest thing from my experience now is to see okay it doesn't work that well push it aside kill the baby basically and then say okay I do something else and then I can focus tomorrow on the character design assignment do the filming also tomorrow for the intro and outro and um, I haven't started editing of course not um, so I will also start with editing tomorrow I will jump on everything I just talked about and I give you guys another update later No more, I ain't lying. I ain't hiding, I've been grinding, multiplying. I've been trying to get my weight up, staying prayed up, meditating and taking time away. You always posting up pictures, trying to look like you're winning. I'm writing rhymes in the kitchen, soaking in moments we live in. Yeah, you got the nerve to be on me. Faking your life for the IG If you got my number, don't add me Cause baby, I'm on hiatus I'm on hiatus I'm on hiatus mm. I'm on hiatus uh -oh. Baby, don't check for me Taking time out to be
Hey everyone, it is Sunday and I just want to give you guys a quick update on what happened yesterday. So um, basically I worked as much as I could on the designs for form language, then I had form language. Class was really good, also the feedback from Norris was very valuable and he also um, saw that all the um, things I wanted to do for the God of War 5 temple entrance were pretty good ideas um, I just didn't have too much time and it was way too ambitious but nevertheless um, I had pretty good feedback um, I need to film the intro and the outro for the vlog now and then I need to finish the character design assignment so um, getting all my ideas out um, which which title I chose for the redesign um, yeah but besides that um, week four is done um, what a week guys I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Next week is basically half time and then we have only five weeks left, which is really crazy. Other than that, stay healthy guys and have fun drawing and painting. See you in the next vlog edition. Bye bye guys. That's it for this week. I hope you guys liked this vlog. We now come to the Q&A session where I answer all you guys questions. So the first question is by Ju. Can you give an estimate on how much time you need for post and pre-production of your videos? So last week, for example, I had an average of three hours of raw footage per day which comes down to a total of 20 hours of recording per week and I spend 12 hours of editing the footage together with uploading it on YouTube, making a cover, etc, etc and all this comes together with a total time of 35 hours per video. So the next question is by Ricardo77 
he asked, hey man, how can I work on my mindset? Do you have any tips on this? I think the most important thing when it comes to mindset is that you get this never giving up attitude. Just never give up and always try to learn from your mistake. Because at the end, it really doesn't matter how often you fail, it matters on how often you get up. So the next question is by Nicel or Nicele. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Is there anything you don't like about Brainstorm so far? Yeah, I don't like that I don't have enough time to do all the classes. But so far, Brainstorm is really a blast. So the last question is by Jack. Hey man, how can I improve my line weight and my overall line quality? So there are many videos on how to improve your line weight. Uh, I would definitely check out the ones by Scott Robertson. They help me a lot. If I would give you a tip on that, I would say take your time for your lines. If you think the drawing or the sketch doesn't reach the quality you want it to have, take extra time to work on it. And the more you work on it, the more mileage you have, the better your lines will get. So that's it for this week, guys. I hope you like this vlog. I hope you like this week. If you have a question, make sure to type it in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and activate the notification bell to not miss any of my other videos. Other than that, I wish you guys an awesome week. Stay productive, stay hungry, and have fun drawing and painting. And see you guys in my next video. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.